Uh, well, our next guest, Jack Ablin, is Chief Investment Officer at Harris Private Bank, uh, thinks the fundamentals of the economy don't support the run-up that we have seen in stocks. Jack, good to see you again. And we have had this huge run-up over the last uh, a month or so, double-digit returns uh, for uh, the equity markets. And you look at the economic data that's poured out in the last month, and you wonder, what is going on? Well, I think it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's just a, uh, uh, probably a point now where we likely to avoid uh, slipping off the end of the table and that double dip with the deflation scenario. So I think <clears throat> given that and given relative uh, attractive valuations of stocks, I think there is somewhat of a relief rally going on. Uh, you know, as a result of more uh, favorable economic news recently. Okay, a relief rally that is just temporary, or is this momentum going to carry through even after the elections? Let's say. Well, I think that um, you know, the history history does set up for a more favorable market. My concern. Betty isn't as much on the economic front as it was several months ago. It's really now more on the uh, the, the profit side. Uh, given that we have an environment where <clears throat> perhaps top line growth could grow as much as maybe three or four percent tops, I don't see how we can get to a point where the bottom line, as analysts are expecting, will grow by 12 to 15 percent per year for the next two years. So. Given, I, and I think most people believe that there is somewhat of a mismatch between analyst expectations and the economic environment, and I think that's got to reconcile itself maybe this quarter, right. maybe next. Jack, it's John Ehrlichman. So it sounds like you're saying earnings season, which gets started in a couple of weeks, is what you have to watch. Because I think there are a lot of average investors out there who are frustrated. They heard the bearish commentary a few months ago. They've watched the stock market go up, and now they're wondering, what do we do? Yeah, and I think overall, you know, my advice to to our uh, you know investors is: look, if you're willing to keep your investment statements closed for the next couple of years, it's actually a very good setup point for the next 10 years. I think that based on a lot of the information that we look at, largely earnings that are reported to the government by corporations, right. it would seem that anyone investing today could actually enjoy as much as a 14 percent annual return for the next 10 years. The problem is. What happens over the next, you know, two or three quarters, and that's really where we're looking for more of a longer-term entry point. Jack, it's Sheila Damarajan here. Longer-term entry point for stocks, but you take a look at commodities, in particular gold. You see investors flocking towards that like anything. Do you think there's still more room left for gold to run? You know, that's that's a, a real puzzle. It's a great question because it, it's certainly a vexing one. Because if you believe that gold, in pure, pure and simply, is just a store of value. And that it's the other side of the, you know, dollar inflation argument. Then you'd say that gold has really run too too far too fast. Um, if, on the other hand, you know that that investors are really worried about a much more severe scenario, right. um, then perhaps gold is justified. But for right now, it would seem that the stock market and the gold market are telling us two different things. Okay, all right, we're going to keep watching those trends. Then, Jack, thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you again, Jack Ablin of Harris Private Bank. And